In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to waterproof a Futaba S3114 servo. So the first step to waterproof this servo is to open it up. To do so, there are screws at the bottom you need to remove. You can use a regular flathead or Phillips head screw. So you remove those from the bottom. Larger servos would have four screws. You could just remove the four. This thick one just has two on the bottom and it has one at the top in the center. A really small one. And then you remove the the servo top screw like this. So th this is the servo horn that will be removed. So you pull that off the servo horn. And then there's also the sticker here that you need to take off as well. So remove that. And then you open up the bottom like this. What you'll see here is the servo control board. It has uh, an H bridge here and uh, some control electronics right here. And it has the DC motor right here. You also want to remove the top as well. This is the gear housing. You see the gear housing there. So first you want to do is waterproof the electronics. And to do so, you're going to use this RTV. It's a uh, waterproof gel. If you don't have it, there's also aquarium silicone sealant. There is architectural grade silicone. And there is marine epoxy white paste. I like to use this stuff. So put your servo down and squeeze out a large quantity. So I like, I like to use a large amount of this goo. And don't be afraid to use a lot. So after you get your goo on, you get like a stick to rub your goo into the circuit board. So this goo is not electrically conductive, meaning that it'll protect your circuits from any water intrusion and it won't conduct any electricity across your circuit board. So get that goo all over the place, get it around the wiring, get it over the board, just fill the whole thing up with goo. In this case it's RTV. So after you got your circuit board all gooed up, you put the bottom back on, like so. You'll have some goo just come out when you do this. Don't worry about it. So there you go. The bottom has now been waterproof. You just push it down to seal it. Now the next part you need to do is waterproof the top. With the top, there are two places water can get in. There is this motor output shaft here where water can possibly get into it. And then there is this little shaft output here where the pot comes out. And so to waterproof that, you put the top back on. Not entirely though, you need like a little bit of crack left. And you get some what's called mineral oil. Uh, this is mineral oil that I get from McMaster.com. It's really cheap and it comes in large quantities. And I just so happen to fill this syringe up with mineral oil. So there's mineral oil inside here already. And so I inject the mineral oil into the servo. And this mineral oil will keep water out. And keep everything protected. So I filled that up with mineral oil. 
and now I close it up real tight like that and now I want to put the screws back on so first is there's two large screws I get those in there screw it back on again and the other large screw so then there's the really difficult to do really tiny screw so I got it in, I screw it in now the mineral oil is really messy so you may want to use gloves you don't have to though just make sure everything's screwed in properly there you go now I use this paper here at the bottom to just clean up the mineral oil so rub the mineral oil off and now you had that extra goop that was around the servo just rub that goo all over the servo around the seams and everything just to keep the water out. So I got the goop rubbed around. Then what you want to use is what's called an o-ring. So I get them from McMaster. You get like a pack of a hundred really cheap. They look like this. And so you take an o-ring and you push it over your output shaft and you find the, the servo top right here the servo horn and you get another servo get another ring and you push the ring over like this so I have a second ring like that over it and then you push them both together on the top of your servo here so I have two o-rings and the servo horn and then to top it off you put your screw back in the servo horn Screw that all in. There you have it. You have your waterproof servo. Now all you need left is for the RTV to dry, which takes between 24 and 48 hours. So what I like to do then is I get a piece of tape like this and I tape it over the wires. So the server will stay up, dry, it won't get any goo on the table. And there you have it, how to waterproof a servo.